welcome to another episode of Chasing the Wind. Maybe I should say it like this, like an old radio program. Welcome to another episode of Chasing the Wind. I'm Pastor Mark. Let's see where the wind is blowing today because, folks, here is where the wind is blowing today. The wind is still blowing. You say, Pastor Mark, what are you talking about? You got all this hot air going. Well, that's a given. Uh, let me let me tell you a little story here. Let me bring you up to date because maybe some of you need to hear this story again. Uh, I was sitting here getting ready to record and uh, Andrew reminded me that I'm coming up on finishing up my sixth year or starting my sixth year? Starting. starting my sixth year of chasing the wind. And, and this whole thing started about five years ago. I think it was when I was on sabbatical. And uh, the Lord had spoken to me, was making it very clear to me that I was to use my voice in different I'm like, Lord, I do use my voice every Sunday. He goes, no, different way. And he led me to a conversation with Pastor Bob of Discipleship Today fame. And it ain't about you fame. And what's his other thing, fame, that he has? Um, that's it, fame. Okay, he's just famous. <laughs> fame. He is the, he's not the famous one, but he is a famous one. And Bob and I were talking. I said, Bob, I think I'm supposed to do a podcast or some sort of vlog thing or something. I don't know how to do it. And he goes, Well, we're gonna have breakfast Thursday, and then we're gonna go, and we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out with this. And he brings me down to where Andy and Mel and Bob are doing shows. There was a couple other people doing shows at the time, and uh, and talking to Andy, who has just become a great, great friend of mine. Uh, I, I don't want him to hear it because he's going to get a big head with it. Oh, he's sitting right here. Uh, anyway, he, I, he goes, well, here's, I said, what do we do? And he goes, well, you just decide on a name for your show and we start doing the show. And um, we will just start, we'll start making some recordings and get them ready to launch. And we decided that was like in September, October. So it took me a few weeks to get the courage to do it. And we started making videos and we launched them, I think, in Jan that following January. So that was in, I think, 2019, something like that, whatever it was. And uh, we started in January, I think, of 20, 2020. And then COVID hit and all that good stuff. And, you know, it was it was interesting. And it's, so I'm like, Lord, what what do I call this show? If you're asking me to do this, what do we show it? And what do we call it? And, and the phrase uh, chasing the wind came to my mind as I was driving home that day. And it was not about, you know, you think of Ecclesiastes, uh, meaningless meaningless it is like chasing the wind okay uh in that case it was not it was just the wind you're out there chasing the wind isn't it cool that i got leaves blowing off from the wind of a beautiful fall day behind me and uh <clears throat> i have a squirrel by the way and um uh so i'm driving i'm like chasing the wind lord what do you mean by that he goes you're chasing after the holy spirit the pneuma, the ruach, the wind, the breath, the spirit. And so it, this show is about seeing what God is up to and chasing after him. Okay, there was a book out year, some years ago called the, the, the God Chase, I think, by Tommy Tenney, I think it was called. Well, this kind of uh, chasing the wind, we're chasing after God. The funny thing is, after the, the Holy Spirit, here's the funny thing, though. The Holy Spirit really isn't running from us. I don't even think we're, we're chasing after the wind as much as we're chasing the wind, running with the wind. We're supposed to be harnessing and, and walking with the Spirit here. And I hope that's what this has been for you who have been wandering with me. So this show is not meaningless, so I, though I hope it's not meaningless. Maybe for some people it is, but it's very meaningful for me. And I just want to say a big shout out and thank you to uh, my buddy Bob for, for the Lord uh, speaking through him, getting me here, for Andrew and all his hard work. I guess summer too. She's not down here to get the coffee anymore, though. I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, it's been quite the party. And uh, thank you for tuning in and, and all your support and the wonderful things that sometimes uh, I see people sometimes around where I live and they tell me wonderful things about it. And so I hope it blesses you because it's blessed me. But it makes me think about, as Andy and I were talking about this morning, and he goes, you know, six years, getting ready for six years of chasing the wind. And I said to him, and the wind is still blowing. Folks, 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 the Holy Spirit has not stopped moving. The Holy Spirit has not quit blowing. The Spirit of God still moves. I feel the Holy Spirit in, in my church Every Sunday morning, it moves me like you would not believe. 
And <clears throat> so I, I wanted to just, you know, that was like, Andy, we got to have a, we got to have a little chase in the wind on this. And uh, it's kind of cool because, we, you know, the Holy Spirit is kind of that elf on a shelf sometimes. We forget about the Holy Spirit. We talk about Jesus, but we forget, you know, oh, yeah, it's Pentecost. Let's talk about uh, the Holy Spirit. Folks, it ought not to be so. Uh, we need to realize that the Spirit of God is the, the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. And it isn't just we put them up on a shelf and we get them down when we need them. The Holy Spirit is, is, is in our lives. And I love what Jesus said to to uh, Nicodemus, he said, the wind blows where it wants to, okay? And then we get into Acts chapter 2, when the Holy Spirit was about to be given to them. And, and there's a wonderful uh, thing that goes on there. It says, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and we be, you will be my witnesses. Um, and, and that word there that is used for power is the word dunamis in Greek. And it means, it's like dynamite. It's a power, it's, it's not just like a, a little, little like, it's like boom and then this thing like you know the whole the power of the holy spirit is huge it's it's powerful helps us live a holy life helps us to do what god asks us to do um counsels us uh, a friend of mine uh, has a daily prayer that he that he uses and i use it sometimes and, he, and and the holy spirit i submit to your full bouquet of ministry teach me with revelation knowledge um <clears throat> convict me of sin righteousness and judgment uh, transform me from glory unto glory to become more like Jesus, more Christ-like. Uh, blast me out, burn me out, and flush me out of anything that is not of you today, Lord, in, in my soul and my spirit. And uh, gift me with every spiritual gift that you have, Lord, as needs arise with crystal clear understanding, absolute authority, and incomparably great power. Gift me with wisdom, knowledge, discernment of spirits, faith, miracles, healing, prophecy, tongues, the interpretation of tongues. Uh, may my life be fragrant with the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control, of which there is no limit. That means we can have as much of it as we want. Folks, the wind, the Holy Spirit, the breath, the ruma, the, the pneuma, the ruach is still blowing, is still moving, is still available to us if we will open ourselves up to the Holy Spirit. Why do I keep chasing the wind? Because the wind is still blowing. God is showing me new things all the time, is doing new things all the time in my life. Sometimes I don't always see it, but I will tell you that there, and, and so what do I do when the leaves aren't blowing? See, it's a funny thing with the wind. You can't necessarily see the actual wind, but we see the effects of the wind. Looking behind me there, you see the leaves falling. Well, what do you do when the leaves quit falling? You watch the trees. The trees move. I like wind chimes. Mm -hmm. I like wind chimes. I have two. The, I don't like the little ding, 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 ding. I've told you that. I like the bong, bong, bong ones, okay? And, uh, uh, you know, the, the ones with the longer the longer pipes on them and stuff. And and I have those on, on my front porch, and I love to sit out there, and I can hear them when the wind is blowing. And I can even hear them, you know, inside the house on some days, and... And I love windmills and anything wind. I just love it because it reminds me that God is always moving. And sometimes the wind is still. And, you know, it reminds me when God tells me, be still and know that I'm God. Sometimes like, God, I don't, I don't feel you. I don't know what you're doing. Be still, Mark, and know that I'm God. Just because I'm still doesn't mean I'm not doing anything. Folks, that's what this journey has been about. And I am so grateful that you have joined me on it through the years. And, and I hope you're a wind chaser. And uh, I still have not gotten any merch to say, click below and get some merch. But I just said it. So now that's my, maybe that's my next uh, thing is to get some merch. Uh, we'll have to work on that or something. Anyway, I just wanted to take a moment. Thank you for following us on this. Following me, all the Drash Ministries. Uh, celebrities. Yeah, we're celebrities. All right. Uh, we just want to do what Jesus tells us to do and how the wind is blowing. So folks, you know the line. You know the line, say it with me, brothers and sisters at home. Keep chasing the wind because, say it with me, Andrew, the wind is chasing you. Until next time, I'm Pastor Mark. Grace and peace.